to live longer, walk more. A study presented at a conference organized by the American Heart Association suggests that both short walks and long continuous walks can reduce the risk of death. Furthermore, as the number of steps increases, the risk of death decreases. As long as you start walking, your body will become healthier. Dr. Michelle Olson, a clinical exercise physiologist in the United States, visually illustrated the real-time benefits of exercise through a timeline. When you begin walking, you will feel more energetic, your lung function will improve, and your body will start burning fat. After one hour of walking, your immunity will gradually increase, and you will noticeably feel more relaxed, with reduced stress. At this point, fat is also being burned. After one day of walking, your muscles will begin to rebuild and strengthen, your cardiovascular system will become healthier, and you will experience improved mental focus, enhancing your efficiency in work or study. After one week of walking, the risk of diabetes may decrease, your endurance will increase, and your body will begin to slim down. After one month of walking, your body becomes stronger, visceral fat starts to decrease, and your brain becomes more agile. One year of walking leads to enhanced endurance, a slower heartbeat, and the possibility of an extended life expectancy. In 2021, a study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association added evidence to the health benefits of walking. Researchers from institutions like the University of Massachusetts Amherst in the United States found that middle-aged individuals who walk more can reduce their risk of death. Compared to people who walk fewer than 7,000 steps per day, those who walk 7,000 steps or more per day had a 55% to 72% reduced risk of death. However, walking more than 10,000 steps per day did not show additional risk reduction. Therefore, walking between 7,000 and 9,999 steps per day can maximize health benefits. What are the benefits of walking every day? Walking exercise can effectively prevent diabetes. Research indicates that walking for 30 minutes a day can effectively lower blood sugar levels, reducing the risk of diabetes. Furthermore, walking exercise can help patients reduce insulin sensitivity and decrease the insulin dosage for diabetic individuals. The increased speed of lower limb circulation during daily walking promotes better blood flow throughout the body. As you walk, your lower limbs are constantly active, increasing movement and circulation speed, ensuring that blood is promptly delivered to the body's needed areas. This is a valuable approach to maintaining overall circulation health, making regular walking exercise necessary. Walking exercise can effectively prevent cardiovascular diseases. Studies show that walking for 30 minutes a day can effectively lower blood pressure and cholesterol levels, thereby reducing the risk of cardiovascular diseases. Additionally, walking exercise can help patients improve myocardial hypertrophy, reducing the mortality rate among those with cardiovascular diseases. Boosted immunity is another benefit of walking as it enhances immune function. Exercise, such as walking, helps burn calories, improve circulation, and allows immune cells to function optimally, increasing resistance to illness. Prolonged sitting and insufficient physical activity lead to a decline in overall physical fitness and make individuals more susceptible to illnesses. During seasons with a higher risk of flu or colds, taking advantage of available time to walk can serve as a means to exercise the body. Walking exercise effectively prevents obesity. Studies show that walking for 30 minutes a day can effectively reduce weight, thus lowering the risk of obesity. Furthermore, walking exercise helps patients improve their fat mass, reducing the body fat percentage in obese individuals. Walking can also enhance memory as it increases the volume of the hippocampus in the brain, activates brain circuits, and contributes to improved memory. 
To significantly improve memory and attention, it is recommended to walk at least three times a week, with each session lasting at least 35 minutes. Walking exercise can effectively prevent osteoporosis. Research indicates that walking for 30 minutes a day can effectively increase bone density, thereby reducing the risk of osteoporosis. Additionally, walking exercise can help patients improve bone structure and reduce the risk of fractures among individuals with osteoporosis. How should one walk for longevity? Brisk walking is the key, but there are five things to avoid. Firstly, an improper posture should be avoided. Leaning forward or backward during walking is incorrect, and it's essential not to swing your arms too much or too little. Secondly, unsuitable shoes, such as hard-soled shoes or hiking boots, should be avoided. It's best to choose professional sports shoes. Thirdly, inappropriate clothing should be avoided. It's advisable to select professional, breathable, tight-fitting clothing or comfortable and lightweight attire. Fourthly, an improper walking pace should be avoided. Walking too slowly may not provide the desired exercise effect, while walking too fast can risk joint damage. Lastly, an inadequate plan should be avoided. Without a scientifically sound plan, it's easy to experience excessive fatigue or injuries. In fact, walking in a scientifically correct manner is not as simple as we might imagine. Adopting an improper walking technique or walking in unsuitable locations can potentially harm the body. What should you pay attention to during walking exercise? Firstly, maintaining the correct posture is crucial. Walk with your head held high, chest out, shoulders relaxed, gaze forward, and let your arms naturally swing in sync with your steps. Secondly, it's beneficial to alternate between brisk and slow walking. A recommended frequency is one minute of brisk walking followed by two to three minutes of slow walking. For the timing of your walks, it's best to do them between 4 p.m. and 5 p.m. when your energy levels are higher, air pollution is less severe than in the morning, lighting is better, and the incidence of cardiovascular events is lower. Additionally, selecting the right location is vital. Walking regularly on hard surfaces may lead to shin splints. It's advisable to choose softer surfaces like grass, soil, or a rubber track on a sports field to minimize the impact. When brisk walking, aim for a step frequency of 90 to 120 steps per minute. The number of steps for walking varies based on individual circumstances. For middle-aged and elderly individuals, it's best not to exceed 10,000 steps per day. For teenagers, 10,000 steps per day is the minimum recommended activity level to support growth and development. For individuals with diabetes, it's not advisable to measure fitness solely by the number of steps but rather by time spent walking. Walking for 30 to 40 minutes can achieve the best results. Avoid excessive pursuit of step counts, as sustained overexercising may lead to joint pain and, in severe cases, even arthritis, especially affecting the knees and ankles. Pay attention to walking speed, walking pace is now considered a key indicator for assessing cognitive diseases in older adults. Walking slowly is associated with a higher risk of dementia. Choosing the right time for walking is important. Experts recommend the best time for walking exercise is from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. However, individual differences exist, so choose a time that feels right for you. It's generally advisable to avoid exercise half an hour before or after meals and one hour before bedtime. In conclusion, as early as 1992, the World Health Organization clearly stated that walking is the best form of exercise. Walking is the simplest form of exercise, unrestricted by factors such as time, location, weather, or equipment. 
It doesn't require much money, only commitment. With persistence, you can enjoy the health benefits of exercise anytime, anywhere, with anyone. The key to successful brisk walking exercise is consistency, gradual accumulation, and adapting your walking plan to your age and physical condition. All right, we will conclude this video here. If you found my video enjoyable, please subscribing to my channel. See you in the next video.